Alright guys, just some context as to how this all happened. The dad you see jump on stage, he posted a photo a few days ago of him and his son. And the comedian on stage commented under his video, hence the reason why the dad's there. He pulled up. The comment's in Spanish, but we got a translation here. This is what it says. Nothing and no one can prevent the possibility that he is gay and when he grows up and he gets tired of sucking black <laughs> Wow. So yeah, the dad saw this and he said, you're going to apologize for what you said. And he wasn't kidding. He pulled up. Here's the video. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. This is father of the year right here. I love how he went in for a second slap at the end. And the fact the comedian thought that was acceptable to say and just label it as a joke is is absurd. And I don't know why some people in the crowd are screaming stop and all this stuff. I'd be cheering him on if I was there. And unfortunately, these are the times we live in now where the children are the main target of these things. I think we both know what we're talking about. Y'all know what's going on. And so do I. And all the news outlets labelled this man a right-wing father. No, he's just a moral father, standing on his business, doing the right thing, what any father should do. And that comedian, they need to look through his computer history because he is a certified PDF. You know what I'm saying? You go on a jail. You go on a jail. Absolutely wild scenes, really. But let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. Think of the child. Like, right here. Is it valid this to bring universal basic income to Oregon? Oh, no, we don't believe in that. You don't believe in that? No. Okay, why not? We believe in free markets. We believe in getting paid what you deserve. I have 10 years explicit pizza experience, right? Uh huh. I can't make more than two or three dollars over minimum wage, even with that experience, because nobody will actually pay what my labor is worth. So, how does that fit into your. To my belief. Yeah. Because I believe that if you have a skill that isn't so much in demand, the market's gonna pay you in, in direct proportion with that. If you have a skill that's high in demand, let's say Elon Musk, right? Uh, SpaceX, Tesla, stuff that is actually highly in demand, stuff that brings uh, a specific amount of value to the marketplace, then they're gonna reward you off that. Okay, how about my bachelor's in environmental science? So degrees aren't um, really as useful as people would think. They're more an authority claim. So Okay, it, so then why, then why should it, why should people go to college? Well, I don't you think they should. Don't who think told, they who should? told you that? I mean, the entire society told me to do that when I was growing up. Yeah. And I went to school and I got a degree. Uh-huh. I have 10 years explicit pizza experience. What the, f what the fuck does that mean? That <laughs> just had me laughing, man, to be honest. It's nice to see people having a debate without screaming and yelling like we normally see. This guy's really saying he went and got a degree, but he's out on the street complaining how his pizza experience, he wasn't getting paid the right amount. He didn't use that degree, and then he became a pizza guy, and it's everyone else's fault. I don't get it. Should trans women be able to play in women's sports? Oh, wow. You hit me with that one. Yeah. Um, I'm a big advocate that everybody should have access to sport. So I, I, men I, I genuinely... can say, I want to play. I, I'm not getting in the team at Burnley or Chelsea or Tottenham, but I actually identify as a, as a woman now. They're going to take the place of an actual woman. Well, this take the place argument, I mean... In, in America, there are loads of people who lost scholarships because, like swimming scholarships, for example, because... Yeah, Leah I Thomas... think it's... You shouldn't pick on someone who's trans just because, you know, they have taken someone else's spot. That That's just sport, right? I imagine, tell me if I'm wrong, but you wouldn't even be in the first, like, five divisions, would you? Oh, that's a bit... Why well, I, I just remember Serena... I think it was Serena Williams who said, I wouldn't be in the first 300 of the men's. Yeah, I mean, look, that, that's her opinion of her own ability. Um, but I played with boys 
up until the age of 14 and I was better than a lot of them. Yeah, but you weren't playing with, <clears throat> you know... No, Adam I mean, look, Shearer. if I... if I, Yeah, I mean, look, if I played with Kevin De Bruyne and, I mean, I'll be... If she really believes what she's saying. She's just part of the problem that is just ruining women's sports today. Who in their right mind would agree with that? Whether she's saying it because she don't want to get cancelled or whatever. Her promoting this and saying this is just encouraging more flipping melons to get in women's sports and ruin them. I want to just state that for 5,000 years BC, Gala transcribed and androgynous trans priests of Sumerian goddesses have been around and noted. Since we are standing on Anishinaabe land, Turtle Island, which is the nation that we live under, um, has I don't live two under Turtle people. Island. All right, well, maybe you should read a little more indigenous knowledge books. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Indigenous communities have used two-spirit uh, personas for the in entirety of their culture. You're pointing to civilizations that committed human sacrifice, okay? That's not a good argument. Yes, that's true. There were all sorts of terrible tribes. In fact, as recently as a little over 500 years ago, the Aztecs here in the Western Hemisphere slaughtered 80,000 people in a sacrifice to one of the demons that they worshipped within the span of four days. That's not a recommendation of doing that. I don't think that we ought to consider it. How does one know that someone with the total physical appearance of a man. How can one know that that person really is a woman? What is the purpose of knowing another person's sexual, I well, sexual see, there, there identity? You are. Or why, why do you even care? What's the purpose of knowing someone's biological sex? Well, for starters, because we have civil rights specifically for women in the United States. We have special bathrooms for women. We have special sports leagues for women. We have all sorts of special places and rights and privileges and, and that are for women that are not for men. So if now some men, people who at the very least appear to be men, are claiming a right to go into those women's bathrooms, then they, we either have to abolish all of the special special rights and privileges that have existed for women for all of human history and are enshrined in our law, or they need to explain to me how those men are actually women. And they can't do the latter, and I'm not willing to do the former, and I don't think women across this country are willing to do the former, even if a few people have been so ideologically blinded. I don't know why these people turn up and try to debate him. He's too smart for these donuts, man. And what the hell is she going on about? Turtle Island, what the hell is that? I've seen these people talking about it. Can someone clear that up for me? I have no idea what these people are talking about. Just sounds like a load of bullshit if you ask me. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. Annie Rodriguez is a five-year-old girl of color, and she wants to transition, but her bad parents won't let her. Do you guys mind signing a support for her? Right, sure. Thank you. You know, she wants to go through hormone therapy, surgery, and I think she can make her own decisions mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. Right? She wants to take hormone therapy, she wants yeah. to finish surgery, hormone therapy, get surgery. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. But thank you for supporting her decision at five years old. Thank you. Oh, it's a petition for what? Uh, I said I want to become trans and uh, parents won't let them. How old are they? Five. They're five. Mm -hmm. They're the right your parents in life. It's kind of sad, really, that that guy at the end was the only person with the logical answer. The fact these people are just willing to sign that, especially for a kid they don't even know, that's a lot of messed up people right there. I would thank you all for allowing me to speak to you tonight, but you tried not to allow it, yet here I am. Now, you only give us 60 seconds, so let me get to the point. You are all child abuse. You prey upon impressionable children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. By imposing this vile nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker rooms with boys, you deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental too, which is truth. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. Worse, it is poison. You are poison. You are predators. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. You silence the opposing side because you have no argument. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away. But we won't. I promise you that. Thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Damn. It's kind of crazy that we've got to have these debates with the people that are meant to be looking after the kids, man. And he's completely right. What they're saying is okay is indefensible. We all know that, and that's why they try and cancel a lot of people these days from saying what really matters. But Matt Walsh is one of the people fighting against all this. He's, he's on YouTube, he's all over TikTok, Instagram. He's really making the world a better place, in my opinion. All right, guys.
Today's daily quote is, do not look after women who do not recognize your authority because responsibility for her without authority over her is to be enslaved to her. It really is this simple. Couldn't agree more. You have to respect your woman for who she is and her standing in your relationship as she does for you as the man. But women out here today are told not to do that because it's slavery and all the rest of the terms. And they all say they want a man who's responsible, who looks after them, but at the same time, they don't want to give the man any authority whatsoever. They can go out and do what they want, when they want. It don't work like that. 